What's up guys, this is Kelidius and today I'm going to be talking about a special topic. Weight. Well, how much you weigh? Oh, you look good, you look big. How much do you weigh? How much do you weigh? No. I think it, they get all typically get shocked when they hear that the guy weighs, you know, 60% of the initial weight that they guessed. <laughs> uh, so, when you want to gain weight, you know, gain muscle, you know, when you want to gain muscle, the first thing that everyone thinks about is weight, right? So, you go to the gym, you eat a lot, a lot of carbs, a lot of protein, a lot of fats, a lot of BCAs, creatine, you know, you bulk, and then you see the weight, uh, you see the weight, uh, you see the weight increase, and you th you think, well, I've gained weight, good, I've gained muscle, mm, right? Uh, wait a second, uh, are you really gaining muscle? No. Okay, let's just say the other way. You are on a bulk, and suddenly you see that your weight went down. Oh, I lost muscle. No, that's wrong. I mean, there is nothing more inaccurate about judging how much muscle you have gained or lost by looking at the scale. This is the worst method ever. Far, far worse than anything else. You do not look at the scale. You do not think about gaining weight. This is absolutely wrong. You, your weight gain, number one, 90% of the time it is fat. Yes, if, when you eat a lot, when you are, when you are on a surplus of calories you're gonna gain fat a lot of fat and some muscle you don't know how much you probably just gain a little bit of muscle you have no fucking clue so what do you do oh yeah uh, you just uh, still eat more than usual but you decrease the surplus hmm and you look at the scale oh I'm still gaining up uh, uh, not as fast anymore but still get going up good I'm still gaining muscle yeah but you don't know how much you have no idea how much muscle you've gained okay and here's the second thing here's the you know fun part that many people don't have a clue about absolutely not the beginners even if it's not fat 73 percent of your body is water just think about that for a second 73 percent is water that means that any fluctuation in your way in your weight could be absolutely be due to water you have no idea if it's muscle or not. Most likely it's water. And here's the third part. Salt intake. Sodium. Sodium is so, so important. Take a little bit, have a little sodium of your body and your body's going to just hold water. I mean, depending on how much salt you take or how little, your body can hold a lot of water and it can hold no water so you can just see a huge change of weight we're talking about you know 10 kilograms yeah 22 pounds in just a matter of days if you just manipulate your your water intake and your salt intake of course to avoid all this the best thing to do is just to don't do any drastic change just take an ordinary amount of salt and ordinary amount of water and your body will fix the rest for you. But just, uh, I'm just saying this because you're probably eating a, you know, a huge pizza last night, and then the next day you see that your weight went up, and you will think, oh fuck, I I gained fat. No, you didn't. Most probably it's just water because you take sodium, and the sodium just, you know, hold water. That's it. That's it. It's not nothing, nothing drastic. And then you got the carbs. This is probably the most common way uh, for people to gain weight. Very, very, very fast. Just carp up. It's going to get into the muscle, you know, and it's going to fill the muscle, which is going to make your muscle look far bigger. And it's going to make your skin look tighter. And it's going to look exactly as if you have gained muscle. It's very difficult to know if you have gained muscle or not. The best method that I can think of is just to complete... I weigh less now than I weighed before two years ago but I know that I have more muscle mass I look really different and uh, now I can see because my my hips are smaller compared to my shoulder width 
this is the most obvious <laughs> you know visual reference that you can have but I recommend that you look at yourself in your mirror I mean and that's where you can see you know how your body looks like now of course if you have a lot of fat you cannot see and therefore I recommend that when you do when you want to add muscle do not do not bulk up like a cow you know do not eat a lot of carbs do not eat a lot of protein do not eat a lot of fat just eat a little bit more get a little bit of fat so you can you can see how your progress is going well sum it up if you want to know if you gain muscle or lost muscle or gain fat or lost fat do not take a look at the at the scale it's not going to show you the scale is good if you are very very overweight you know we're talking about you are you have a lot of fat you know and you want to just lose yeah in this case but do not look every day either you you must take you know uh, a week between looking at the scale to see because your body your body is changing constantly so if you want to see the see your weight on scale make sure that you watch the scale exactly the same time every time you watch the scale mm -hmm.